Okay, we're ready. <laughs> Are you gonna do oh. to say something about uh, <laughs> like Kyle? <laughs> smile. Okay, you go. Well, wait a second, wait a second. Let me turn this one up. It's recording. Do I just go straight out with the question? No, I'm going to say uh, something. You're going to say something for. Okay, hold on. Why do you think you were selected for this such unique honor? Wasn't that the last question? No, it wasn't. <laughs> the last question was, how does it feel to be recognized as a hero? Okay, well, so that's what's going to happen to you, quite frankly. Is you're going to grow up, you're going to get older, and you're going to discover all those things. That's what's going to happen to you. I'm really looking forward to it. I know. Smile at the camera and say that. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> what are things... What are the things parents can do that will help their children realize, too, they can also be heroes? <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> All right. Why are heroes so important in the lives of young people? Well, heroes are important because young people tend to look up at, in society, Growing up, we were all young once. When, you, when you're growing up, you tend to look at who's on TV, who, who does this, who did that, who's famous, who's rich, all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, when you, when you see all that, um, those people become your heroes in essence because you want what they have. But in actuality, what people really want is they want to be happy. They want to have a joyful life. So what, in that case, I'm sorry, Ralph, we got, I got sidetracked here. <laughs> we got to start that question over. How does it feel to be recognized as a hero? Well, first of all, like I said earlier, I don't consider myself a hero. Um, I would like, I would hope to think that one day, uh, w one of the goals that I have is that when I die, is that when I die, is that people will sit there and go, you know what, Kyle Eberlein was a, a moral person, he had ethics, he had values, um, but the most important thing, he was a disciple, and that and that when they die, when he dies, they're going to look at me as that way. And that's the most important thing. You know what? That doesn't work for me. Sorry, Ralph. <laughs> like, I know, for example, uh, I don't remember who it was. She's a wife of some a big sports, professional sports player. And she works as a nurse. And they donate every penny of her job from being a nurse to charity. And I just think that's a really awesome thing that someone would do that, so. That's great. And yeah. And she's still, you know, working and getting out there and being a part of society and and uh, still giving back when she really doesn't even have to. So, yeah. And not only if you're a nurse do you are you just giving your paycheck, but you do so much more mm -hmm. as a nurse. And how do you think uh, you were selected for this unique honor? Um. Being the child, <laughs> you and dad. <laughs> you <never lie>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's oh. out. <laughs> well, I, I want you to know that I became a better person when I became a parent. Well. <laughs> I, I really did because, you know, I I really felt I I had to put my best foot forward, and there were some changes I had to do. You know, I mean, I wasn't always you know the best. You know, whatever, but I always tried to to do things better, and um, I tr I try to uh, do things. And uh, well, I know that I try to do. No, I'm just saying that I don't do it. We're interviewing her. I think. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying that as a parent, you know. You, you can be a better person and your kids will be that. And I really feel that it's paid off because I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy with who you are. And you're my hero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are. You're my sweet hero. <laughs> so anyway. 
Okay.